assistance to save the lives of children. You're going to be looked after today. Watch the Herbie Fund, a world of difference, all this week on City News in partnership with Delta Airlines. Tonight, we begin our week-long Herbie Fund series. As you know, the fund, through Sick Kids Hospital, provides life-saving surgeries for third-world children. These families are poor and praying for a miracle. The surgeries are not available in their home countries. But you provide the life-saving solution, which is a donation to the Herbie Fund. Tonight, we follow up a couple of Herbie success stories. We'll meet twin boys from the Philippines who will die without highly complex facial surgery. And we'll meet two little girls from Uganda, desperately in need of heart surgery. One of these girls, the one with the braided hair, is, as her name suggests, precious. Welcome to the Philippines. <laughs> This is the Santo Nino Formation and Science School in Batangas. It's a couple of hours north of Manila. The idea being that we stop by and check up on little Richard Galak. You saved his life last year with a donation to the Herbie Fund. So we just wanted to come by, take a couple of pictures and get out of everyone's hair. But we were completely unprepared for the reception we got. Look at this. Hello. How are you? Hello. Welcome to Santo Nino. Say hello to Canada. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Saving the life of a child has far-reaching effects. Their families and friends are profoundly affected. In Richard Galak's case, his entire community demonstrates their gratitude. Now, King is just, uh, he's active, more active than before. We used to tell him not to do too much activities because we are quite nervous because of his uh, condition. So I just need to listen to your heart. Richard was seven years old when his case was approved and he came to Toronto for his life-saving open heart surgery. His very worried parents told us he was always tired and struggling at school. He was also unable to play with his friends. What a difference now. He's attentive at school and plays as hard as his buddies. Send it, lend it, give it away, and it comes right back to you. He keep on asking, Mom, can I run? Yeah, you go run as fast as you can, go. Uh, this is the brother of King. This, this is King's brother? <laughs> his name is oh, Prince. Oh, my daughter. We just keep on thinking how to raise them properly because they're healthy, so we're very, we're very happy and always thankful. So, yeah, every day I always thank God and for giving us the Herbie Fund in our lives. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Canada. I'm here in the Philippines. While in Manila, we drop by to visit another Herbie patient, Cyril Marquez and his family. How old are you? Six years old. <laughs> Cyril Dean Marquez doing something he never could have done before. He can run almost all day long. He's got boundless energy because now he's a normal little kid. Prior to that, just over a year ago, he was facing a death sentence, required open heart surgery to prolong his life. And you made the whole thing possible. <laughs> Cyril came to Toronto last year. Dark circles under his eyes meant that his failing heart was working overtime. After his surgery, there's a complete transformation. His energy level is off the charts. We're so happy. Yeah. In a way, it's like winning the lottery. A stressed out, distraught, third world family enduring endless sleepless nights, knowing they are powerless to save the lives of their children. But you provide the winning ticket, a donation to the Herbie Fund. Two quick pictures and we'll be all done, okay? Yeah. Nine-year-old Adrian and his twin brother Aaron came to Toronto from the Philippines in January. We saw this neurosurgeon and he told me that they have cruzons, both of them. Part of the condition of cruzons is their mid-face was not developed. Anthony Ang is a surgeon back home in the Philippines. I'll get you in the right spot, okay? He had a neurosurgeon operate on the boys when they were one and a half years old, but that really was only a stopgap. And I have a pair for you too, okay? <laughs> they needed high-level surgery that is not available back home. As a doctor, I felt at that time I was helpless. My name is Dr. Bunsik, and uh, we're going to do some eye games today, okay? 
I can do something with other patients' condition, but for my own kids, I was really helpless. I know they will be in good hands here in Sick Kids because it's, yeah. it is the center. Yes. And I know they're really in good hands. Yeah. Oh, I think oh. I have an admirer here. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll take you home. Come on. Precious and her new friend Marion are two year old girls from Uganda. Who's that? Elmo, that's right, honey. Their family's connected with the Herbie Fund through a missionary organization called Samaritan's Purse. Do I get one? <laughs> They're here at Sick Kids because, like Cyril and Richard, they have life threatening heart problems. Is Elmo in there? So there's two parts to, to fixing our heart. Like so many children, the surgeries they need are not available in their home countries. Okay, so I, I think they're both going to do very well. You'll see. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Canada. Thank you, too. <laughs> Tomorrow night, we learn more about the twin boys' condition and why a transformational surgery is necessary to save their lives. Please join us this Sunday as well at the Toronto Zoo for an all-day Herbie fundraiser, free parking, a barbecue, entertainment for the kids. Each kid will get a brand new toy courtesy of Spin Master. So please consider a donation to the Herbie Fund. The information's on your screen. Helping children from around the world is now as easy as putting one foot in front of the other. One, two, three. Let's go. Join Walk for the Children in support of the Herbie Fund at Sick Kids. Sunday, August 24th at the Toronto Zoo. Enjoy a 5K walk and a day of fun for the family. Jump up. Proceeds support life saving surgeries for children from around the world. She just wants to be a normal kid. Register at walkforthechildren.ca and begin fundraising today.